Luigi. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? Um, yes, please. You look like a nice boy. Do you want a balloon too, Georgie? I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Now we aren't strangers, are we? I should get going now. Oh. Without your boat? Welcome to Kermit Uncut. There's a strange pleasure when worlds collide, when two things that you really like quite separately somehow cross their paths, you know, when the streams cross. Well, this has happened just recently. As you'll know, it, the adaptation of the Stephen King book, has done incredibly well. It's a record-breaking success. People are going to see it and they're really, really enjoying it. It's more of a, an adventure than a horror movie, but it's a really, really good film, kind of inspired by the Goonies and Poltergeist to some extent. And it's based on Stephen King's novel, which was filmed before for a TV miniseries, a very popular TV miniseries. And the film's been a massive success. And there's a season at the BFI celebrating the work of Stephen King. And the British Film Institute asked Stephen King to put together a list of his favourite films. And he came up with a list which was kind of interesting, but there was one real standout for me. So he said, for example, when it comes to supernatural horror, he absolutely loves the changelings. There's no monsters bursting from chests. Just a child's ball bouncing down a flight of stairs was enough to scare the daylights out of me. Then he goes on to cite films like Jacques Teneur's Night of the Demon and Village of the Damned, which has always had a very special place in my heart because it was filmed around the school that I went to and they used to show Village of the Damned at my school because you could see kind of local sites. Then he mentions The Stepfather which any horror fan will know and love, it's a real cult classic, and Lady Diabolique, the Cluzo film. But this is the real surprise. Stephen King's favourite film of all time is, get this, William Friedkin's Sorcerer. Now, of course, Sorcerer is an adaptation of Wages of Fear, first film by Henri-Georges Clouseau, and many people think that the Clouseau is a masterpiece, and the Friedkin film is a film that failed, that flopped when it first came out. I mean, it was a huge international failure. It cost a lot of money, and it didn't make it back. But over the years, its reputation has grown. Now, last year, I did a screening down in Cornwall of the 4K restoration of Sorcerer, and it went down really well. People absolutely loved it, and it's coming back to the big screen here very, very soon. But how brilliant to hear Stephen King, the guy who wrote Carrie, the guy who wrote The Shining, the guy who wrote The Stand, the guy who wrote Dance Macabre, which was one of those texts that I really, really sort of loved when I was younger. It kind of really taught me about understanding horror films and horror novels. How great that his favourite film of all time is William Friedkin's greatest failure that has now become recognised as one of his greatest movies. Sorcerer is a terrific film. I've done stuff on the radio about its brilliant soundtrack that wonderful music by Tangerine Dream, and just how gritty and tough and relentlessly grueling it is. It seems that its moment in the sun has finally arrived, and it's thanks to Stephen King. 